Hi, I'm Charlotte Manistee and I'm a consultant cardiologist and associate professor and I work both here at One Welbeck and also at Bart's Hospital and University College London. I tend to be referred patients who have a constellation of symptoms so it's very unusual actually to get patients with just one symptom on its own. So it tends to be that I see people with shortness of breath and chest pain and often with some dizziness and palpitations as well. And it tends to be that patients have these symptoms either because of, of three, three things, either because they had pre-existing heart problem that perhaps they weren't aware of that COVID may have precipitated or the fact that they've got residual symptoms left over from an acute COVID infection. And there's only a relatively limited number of people who actually have true long COVID chronic symptoms that are ongoing for many months after the infection. So I think my top tips for patients with cardiovascular symptoms after COVID is that it is important to see a specialist because it's important to rule out having an alternative pre-existing cardiovascular problem unrelated to COVID that has perhaps been unmasked by the infection. That obviously needs to be diagnosed and treated and investigated appropriately. So we would recommend that you come and see a specialist and get that looked into. For people who don't have any un other cardiovascular pathology picked up on investigations, then management and ongoing treatment generally starts to involve a multidisciplinary team. And that might involve cardiac rehabilitation, nurses and specialists, physiotherapists, and it can often be a chronic road where a team of people are helping you towards your recovery. So in terms of how long patients will continue to have symptoms for, I think the honest answer is that we genuinely don't know. From extrapolating from patients with other post-viral syndromes, it tends to be that the majority recover. Certainly we know from the information we have in long COVID so far, we know that a third tend to recover very quickly, a third will recover over a course of a few months, and a, th a third really seem to have symptoms for a much longer period of time. But it's really the result of large volumes of research that's being done within the UK that will give us these answers, and time will tell. There's one particular cardiovascular complication that we know can happen very rarely in people after COVID infections, and that's something called myocarditis, or an inflammation of the heart muscle, or pericarditis, an inflammation of the sac around the heart. This, whilst originally thought to be quite common, we now know is actually extremely rare, but it can lead to persistent symptoms of chest pain, shortness of breath, and it's worth investigating, and it often requires specialist investigation using cardiovascular MRI and a series of blood tests to, to investigate and monitor that. I think one of the advantages of working within a group of uh, experts with different viewpoints on management and, and treatment of patients with long COVID is that if I have patients who describe symptoms from a different specialty, for example, endocrine symptoms or ongoing persistent respiratory symptoms, I have the experts here within the same institution with whom I can share information, bounce ideas off, and together as a group we can manage you to give you the best possible outcomes.